Hey guys, it's Forsaken Reality here with the 18th episode of the Remnants of World series. In this episode, we're going to be making it, setting up so the projectile moves to the center of the screen. Because so you notice right now that projectile is shooting straight out of the muzzle. We're going to make it so it goes from the muzzle to the center of the screen. And that's going to allow us to create a line trace from the muzzle to the center of our screen and basically the way our predictive line trace is going to work it's going to compare the location of the line trace we have now that shoots out of our camera that's hitting right here and the line trace that will be coming out of our muzzle and moving there so for example we're like at a wall like this and, our, and the line trace comes out of our muzzle like our camera line trace, for example, hits down there, but our muzzle to camera, if you look at that on an angle, it'll hit the wall before it makes it to there. And that'll be our actual hit location. So that will create the sec. So basically, like when we walk through here, we'll, it'll create the secondary cross here. That makes a little bit more sense. So without further ado, we will get into that. First thing we're going to want to do is open up our not in this one and our this we'll get our master character we'll organize that after um we're gonna need to redo our fire event so we'll go to our replication graph first thing we're gonna do in here is delete this replicated shoot so we're going to redo it a little bit differently, so more of it's set up in the weapon. And we're just going to create a custom event. Server. Spawn. Projectile. And in here we're going to set up a few inputs. And also clean one shoot location that'll be a transform owner an instigator so we know who the owner of the projectile is and in, and who's uh the instigator is um, so pawn the instigator will be a pawn and the owner will be an actor Don't worry about that error right now, we'll get to that. Um, from here, we're just gonna spawn actor from class. And... Just gonna take a look in here on my weapon. Yeah, we want to move the spawn actor from, from here, so it's going to get our equipped weapon. Get our weapon that, uh, break this. We're going to have a projectile. Close that back up again. And we also want to run this on server, reliable. And we're going to plug our spawn transform into here. And always ignore, always spawn ignore collision. Drop this down, and then you can get your owner, your instigator. This will allow us to clean, make things look much cleaner once we have this set up. Move this down a little. 
So now we have our spawn projectile. Let me go to our input graph. For now, I'm just going to delete this so that gets rid of that error. Uh, we're going to want to open up our master weapon. Get a bunch of errors in here. Because the shoot event is all messed up now. We're going to delete this and delete this client shoot. And for the shoot event, we're going to delete everything with spawning the projectile. And delete this client shoot at the end so that was just for testing. We're gonna leave these two in here. And then we're gonna check our aiming here. So when we shoot, we're gonna check if we're aiming. You go back to your master character. And actually remove all of this, except for the release. And then once, once you're done that, head back into your weapon. You want to check if you're aiming. And if we are aiming, we're going to set shooting to true. And then we're going to get our get shoot location. And call our character server spawn projectile. This is where our projectile is being spawned. And the location, the way this works is if we hit something with a muzzle socket location and the uh, impact point and move to there, and if it isn't hitting something, it will get the uh, muzzle socket location and the trace times 10 times the how long the trace would be yeah, and does that. So we go back to our event graph. After we spawn our projectile, the instigator is our character and the owner is self, which is our ref reference to the weapon. So the owner of the projectile is the weapon and the instigator, the person who shot the bullet, is the character. And we can plug this stuff back in here for a shoot effects and fire rate right after. Remove that. Okay, so now we want to go back down to our fire rate. So we want to remove this first of all, since it's no, not in use no more. Let's double check, okay. And if true, shoot. Now it's being called from our weapon. Now I'll run through this event. Let's double check in our burst delay. I had an issue with this before. Looks right. You want to go into your burst fire function. Delete this. I believe you call, yep, just call your shoot event. I think that's about everything in our weapon that we needed to set by the looks of it. In our equipped weapon. Actually want to check if we can shoot it in our character because that's going to cause it issues with our burst fire if we don't.
right now this is not actually doing nothing this is always activated but it's been used by our burst fire because basically it's disabled so we can shoot we need this in here so we can't spam, start spam clicking and shooting bullets and we'll enable it again after our burst is done and after the burst delay of the burst after our burst delay is done so if our quick weapon shoot i'm just going to test out and see what's going on here and just to actually go into the center but seems to be an issue with our cross here Okay, so now we have that done. I'm gonna quickly take a look at our radical blueprint. I'll be in reticles now and our widgets. We'll load our radical base. Just making sure I have everything in here the same and seeing why that issue is running sprinting movement. You are moving if you're not. Maybe it goes down. Somewhere. There is shooting, it's true. Maybe I missed. I'll, I'll pause this for a second and see what I missed. So it turns out it's a bug I over actually overlooked in my main project. I quickly actually went through it, set it up. And the simple way to fix that burst issue... My crosser's on spread. If you don't you let go of the mouse before it burst finishes, you want to open up your burst fire. And right here, when the burst finishes and resets, we want to get our character reference. And we're going to disable shooting. We're going to set shooting false, so we're no longer shooting anymore. Because that's what's controlling this. It's checking if we're shooting or not. And now... And we also have our bullet going into our crosser. We did notice that already. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it. But it won't make it to our crosser if it's, for example, like this. Because it's going to hit the wall before we make it there. And in the next video, we're going to continue setting up the protective shooting so we can basically let ourselves know when when the uh, bullet is making it to the the uh, this point and when it's hit it when it's gonna hit this wall here. Also one more thing I'm gonna quickly do is I'm gonna go into my projectile, master projectile, projectile movement. I'm gonna set gravity to zero so that it doesn't drop when it's shooting. We're gonna enable this again after, but it's just for testing for now. I'm also going to set the speed to 10,000. Um, projectile collision. Sphere, I'm going to set the size to. It's super small now. So you don't need a big, big projectile. And...
This should be everything for now. I'm just going to test out a few things. Moving to the center of the screen, spawning in all clients, hitting our player. So I'm going to check my notes quickly here. And yeah, that's going to be everything for this episode. If you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorial video uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments section below or join our Discord community using the link in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next episode.